Hey everyone, Amanda Maisie, Country Roads Trust. Joining me today, baseball players, baseball pitchers, Blaine Traxel, Ben Hampton. Guys, thanks for joining me today in the weight room. Let's talk about the start of this season. Don't want to jinx anything, but so far, so good, Blaine. Uh, yeah, starting out good. I mean, we're playing as a team pretty strong. Uh, hitters are hitting, pitchers are throwing a lot of strikes, attacking hitters, and everything's just going well right now. You are a transfer from Cal State Northridge. Grew up in California. Tell me about your journey east to West Virginia. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to do something to switch things up, and coming to Morgantown was just a great fit for me. I really liked everything out here, the coaching staff, and just the environment and everything out here. I wanted to switch it up and get out here. You are pretty um, animated out there. You're pretty pretty loose, but pretty animated. Tell me about your style. Uh, yeah, I just like to say loose when I'm pitching. I kind of like to think that I'm playing wiffle ball when I pitch. I just have fun and just want to attack hitters and have fun while I'm doing it. Ben, this is your third season here. You led the team in strikeouts this year. Tell me about your mindset heading into this season. Uh, just pitching with confidence and, and pitching to go out there, try to win every game and give my team a chance to win every game. You spent the summer up in the Cape Cod League, which is really the premier summer league for college baseball players. You were named an all-star. How did that experience help you going into this season? I mean, it's cool to, to learn from all different coaches and players, and it's a different style of baseball out there, and, and more, uh, it's kind of individual, uh, so I, I had a good opportunity to really, you know, work on my stuff and, and try to get better coming back here for my junior season. I read a story about when you were younger, your dad had a picture on the refrigerator. You were nine years old. It was a picture of you kind of moping on the mound, and it was just interesting to read that story because it just talked about how it was like changing your mindset and moving on and, and you seem like you're very uh, into like learning and bettering yourself. Tell me about that. Right, yeah. I, I was about nine when he put that up and it was a little league game and I was getting hit around the park and I was out there moping and head down and, and so every person that came into our house would then see me, you know, with my head down. So it was something that I just, you know, I needed to learn to, to handle my emotions and he always tells me stories of, you know, if, if you if I come to a game I shouldn't know if the score's ten to nothing or zero to ten if you're winning or losing. So just keeping the same mentality the whole time and, and staying locked in. Let's talk about the mentality of a pitcher. You guys, when you're out there, you're involved in every single play. What's that like? Because you're going mono on mono, it's you and the batter. Uh yeah, I think him and I both have like similar approaches when we go into pitching. We both know that we're not overpowering pitchers. Uh, we're just going to attack hitters and try to help the defense. So kind of it's not one-on-one, -on -one, it's kind of nine-on-one. -on -one. We use our defense a lot. Um, certain power pitchers are going to be using one-on-one, -on -one, trying to get guys out and striking them out. But I think the style that we both pitch with is nine-on-one. -on -one. We try to use our defense as much as we can. Yeah, for sure. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I completely agree. There's there's times that you know you need to bear down and, and get a strikeout, but I agree. We I think we both do a good job of just attacking guys and letting our defense work. Talk about the defense behind you because I don't want again. I don't want to jinx anything here, but it, it's been a pretty solid season on both sides of the ball. Yeah, all I mean, three sides actually: <laughs> offense, defense, yeah. and pitching. Yeah, I mean we got guys like Tevin Tucker, JJ. McNeely, <clears throat> McNeely in the infield that are making great plays, and then you got Braden Berry that's tracking down balls all over the outfield. So, I mean, the defense is very strong here. Um, and then the other side, they could all hit too as well. So they're all having a great, great time at the plate, which is helping all of us defensively and offensively. How exciting is it when you see a guy make, make a great defensive play? I mean, it's huge. A lot of the times it, it can be a game-changing play. You know, a, a diving play can be the difference from a, a win to a loss. So it gets me fired up on the mound. I mean, even against um, uh, Hofstra the other night, the play that Caleb McNeely made catching that into the dugout, that was huge. That was an out that you guys desperately needed. So a lot of fun out there for sure. Um, let's just talk about going into Big 12 play and kind of getting into the meat of Big 12. How exciting is that to, you know, go ahead and start vying for a, for a conference championship? championship <laughs> uh, big 12 play is always more exciting you know you, you, you get prepared throughout these first six weeks to to get ready for big 12 play and uh, the baseball is just a little different a little more intense closer games so I feel like we're ready though when Mays comes out there you see him coming out of the dugout are you like ah crap here he comes like what's your mentality when you see the coach coming out uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't think he's came out for me yet. <laughs> that is true. Um, that is true. Good point. <laughs> every time he tries to talk to me in the dugout, I just let him know that he better be ready to wrestle if he's trying to get the ball from me. <laughs> so um, I, I don't think he wants to come out and meet me on the mound. So I hope it stays that way. Yeah, you are like the complete game guy. You know, you're just, you kind of like are like a, like a fine wine. You kind of age, you get better throughout the game. Have you always been like that? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of thrive in like the pressure of the game, and as it gets later in the game, I kind of seem to just do better. Uh, I think I just kind of see the finish line while I go on, and I just try to get stronger as I go. I think there was one game you only pitched eight innings. That was a big disappointment, Blaine. Yeah, huge one. That was awful. Yeah. What's your mentality when you see Coach coming out there? Uh, he's a great guy and all, but I don't like to see him when he comes out there. So uh, I prefer to finish my innings or finish a game if possible, but uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan when he comes out there. But when he comes out in a, in a bigger situation early in the game to you know talk me through something, he usually says the right stuff. Have you ever been able to talk him out of him pulling you? No. He, no. he has his mind made up, and it's usually that way. Yeah, I can't talk him out of anything either, let's, let's be honest. All right, let's go through some questions here. This is, these are questions for both of you about some of your teammates. Tell me who is the most superstitious on the team. I would say Grant Hussey. He has a bunch of gum always, and he's, I think he needs like a perfect – I think it's three pieces throughout a game or something like that, and it's – it's his own thing. I don't know the exact number, but he always needs gum, and it's like a certain thing whenever he goes up to hit. What do you think? Is it you guys? Do you guys have your own superstitions? Like any routines, anything that you always do? I stick to a routine, but nothing superstitious-wise. Um, I don't think we have anybody that's you know really crazy that does anything out of the blue, but I think everybody has their routines that they try to do on their game days to get ready. Who is your most serious teammate? Grant Siegel, right over there. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> He's laughing right now, though. <laughs> That's a pretty rare occasion. I'd go with the same answer. Okay. So, yeah. Who is the most fun out there? Who's the kind of the jokester of the team? I'd like to say myself. I agree with that. I think Trax is up there. Uh, on the field, like in game, I think JJ does a good job of, you know, he stays super relaxed. And, you know, if we have a bad inning defensively or offensively, he's still making jokes and, and keeping guys loose. And even yesterday when we, uh, when we had a close game going into the ninth and 10th, he was still cracking jokes and, and keeping everyone loose. How was the team chemistry this year? I mean, compared to my other two years, this is without a doubt the, the best chemistry team that I've ever played on. Uh, everybody's gelling together. The whole locker room's all, all in one team. Um, and so there's no, you know, I think I should be playing, you should be playing, all this stuff. Uh, so everybody's kind of just got each other's back and playing for each other. You're from California. I know your family was out in Arizona when we were out there. How hard is it not to have them around as much? Obviously, you were playing in your home state. And what does your family mean to you? Because uh, I know they're loud at the games. They are super. They yeah. are super fun, just like you. Yeah, I mean, it means a lot to me. The main thing is my younger siblings. My little sister's 14, my little brother's uh, seven. So just not being able to see them grow was like a big thing for me going into college. Um, obviously, when I went into college five years ago now, it was they were so much younger. So I wanted to see them stay close to home. Now I kind of feel like I could branch off. But being able to be connected with my parents through the phone is fine. Like, not the biggest deal. But it's mainly the little siblings that I really miss. Yeah. All right. Well, Blaine, Ben, appreciate you guys. And good luck the rest of the season. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.